Hey guys and welcome to Snever Summer. Monday afternoon, sunny day. And uh, I just got a shipment today, this morning, from the United States and uh, from Esprit Models. And I ordered last week some uh, electric, um, electronical equipment and stuff for my Habu 32. Now the Habu is um, at my place since last week and I uh, decided, had to look a bit uh, for what I should be buying and um, I came up with a few things. Uh, I wasn't quite sure too much about those servos that have been recommended. I kind of well, like wanted to have like an overkill setup, which uh, some of uh, you guys mentioned. So, now this is here my setup. You can see the Habu 32 on the side and the uh, main wings and uh, the horizontal stabilizers and those are here all my parts which I got this morning except the ESC from Esprit model so um, a few things which you can use in general so not just only for this model but uh, because I was running out of some, some parts I decided just to uh, just to get them uh, with my order so um, here are some um, brushes to brush on the um, the steps of the um, for the wings, the epoxy mixing cups, the mix it sticks. Then I got some CA, some fin uh, from Zep, and some flexi tips. This one here is the brand new Ice 2 HV 120 amp ESC from Castle Creations, and you can see here clearly um, it says the Phoenix Ice 2. Uh, which has the sticker on it, um, which uh, I had to look already uh, on it already, and it looks really good. Now another thing, uh, I um, like I mentioned just before, I didn't go with the stock um, recommendations for the servos and things like that, except the retracts. Now um, I made it like this um, to have stronger servos. Uh, Esprit Models does have also recommended servos on the website when you actually choose the Habu 32 and I had to um, make a bit of a compromise and so I came up with this. For the flaps I've got the Hi-Tech HS81 micro servos, those one will be for the left and right flaps. Okay. And um, I have here five HS85 MG Mighty Micro servos from Hitech as well. So those will be for the elevators, ailerons, and the no steering wheel. Now for the final part, I substituted basically this um, for the rudder. Um, Esprit Models does recommend the 5025. MG digital servo. I didn't like it too much because it had exactly the same torque as uh, as the 85 one. So I just decided to go with something a bit stronger. So I decided to go with the HS uh, 5245 MG digital servo from High Tech, and um, it's a bit bigger, but it it does. Um, it's also a bit more costly, but as you can see right here, the specifications, um, the torque is 61 Ohs and the weight is 32 grams, so it's a bit heavier than all the other servos that I actually have for my um, Habu 32. Nonetheless, what I have as well is here some four Velcro straps. Um, and uh, I only will be using two of them, but I ordered two more just in case I will be using it for another jet or anything like that. Here's the electric retracts, the uh, 1525 in size, the tri tricycle landing gear system from E-Flight. And um, those one will be, of course, the retracts. And uh, well, and he is one beauty of, of a fuselage. Let me just put this down for a second. 
I actually unpacked everything yesterday a bit and had a look at it and I have to say it's bloody amazing I mean the the paint shop is really nice you can see here a bit through the lights um, it, it has like this kind of metallic finish so you, you can see a little, little bit of bling bling on it which is uh, pretty nice which you can't see in the air however so it doesn't really matter but it's a nice thing to add um, one thing I realized is um, the servo pocket for the rudder installation will be a little bit tricky but um, I'm just going to get on uh, with it you know once I get the the first parts of the installation actually done the um, cockpit area or let's say the battery compartment is quite big well quite big for for this kind of size of jet uh, obviously here you can see this is for the battery this is actually the battery tray where the battery will be mounted on uh, put on with velcro straps or something like that it's totally up to you uh, mind you that you take off you take out these foam parts on both sides okay um, in case you don't have a ladder inside saying so and here is for the installation of the servos and in the front the retract just turn it around um, I can feel there is a bit of weight uh, for just the fuselage part which is okay it seems it's quite strong quite uh, good build and uh, I can't wait to get this baby together it's a bit shorter I think than my FAA 18 from Freewing I'm not quite sure I have to see when it gets done but well this is it for now this is the Habu 32 first impressions basically and I'm gonna get started with the build um, starting by the control horn installation I'll be using some special uh, high sole Loctite glue and um, just gonna use some uh, precautions before I'm going uh, before I'm actually going to install the control horns as you can see here there's a lot of stuff everything is jet like it's actually my living room so my living living room turned into a hangar which is okay for me I mean there's jet here jet there jets over there small ones mini jets and of course the spark which is going to disappear in two weeks and here the spark the wing and some other things so that is it for now I'm gonna get started one thing is missing it's a Steelmox fan uh, I should be uh, receiving the Steelmox fan I probably think by next week depends on uh, when Steelmox is done with my fan so it'll be uh, a 6S setup probably powered by um, 6200 milliamp 6S 35C uh, new jet battery, but I'm not quite sure about this yet. Just gonna get uh, the build um, started first, and then I'm gonna make up my mind on the battery uh, choice later. So this is it for now, guys. Um, not much to be said, not much uh, to be done for now. But I'm gonna get started. For all of those people who are thinking to get. Uh, who jumping from uh, foam jets to composite this is your very very best and first choice for me flight the Habu 32 EDF till then see you guys later with an updated build